Hi everyone, my name is Mayra. Welcome to RN Travels. In this video, Roger is working, but I'm gonna share with you a short travel guide for uh, St. Augustine. I'm gonna share with you some location tips and our experience there. So yeah, let's get started. All right, and the first place we're gonna recommend is Magnolia Avenue. This is actually one of the most photographed streets or avenues in the United States. And some people say that one of the most beautiful as well. So uh, what's unique about this place is that it has a hundred year old oaks making a perfect tunnel. And the oaks are actually full of Spanish moss. This plant actually grows on trees. Uh, mostly you'll see that on tropical places and Florida is tropical. So um, we actually bike this road. It was really fun and really beautiful. I actually wanted to bike back and forth. That's what we did. On the way back, we encountered some uh, beautiful peacocks. So if it's your lucky day, you might see them when you visit as well. But yes, take note. So another highlight in San Agustin is the famous Fort Castillo de San Marcos monument so you can actually see it from the outside you can take a few pictures here but i highly recommend you to go inside you do need to pay it's 15 dollars per person and uh, they have some rooms open and they're reenacting or what they used to use these rooms for it's actually kind of scary because it used to be a jail and it actually has a lot of history a lot of historical events that happened here so we uh, actually took the time reading on each room what it was used for and it took us about like two hours to see the whole thing it's not huge but because we were taking our time it took us two hours so it's up to you um, if you like to read the historical events it might take you about that time you are able to go on the top of the fort and you have this beautiful uh, uh, <clears throat> view of the ocean and this is where Roger and I took a few pictures so I recommend you to pay I think uh, for us it was worth it Another place that you can visit is the oldest house in St. Augustine. So this house was built like in the 1600s with one of the sedimentary, which is built, uh, Coquita, which is built like with shells, mollusk, and other things. Very interesting. Um, if you have time, highly recommend it to go inside. It's a museum. If you don't like us, even just passing by and reading about it and see it from the outside, it's still worth it. So yeah, take note of that one. In St. Augustine, you're gonna find other historical locations like the Museum uh, Civil Rights Movement, the house of Dr. Gordon. He was the first dentist in Florida, African-American, and at the time in the 60s, it was actually not racially segregated. So it's very uh, meaningful in that time and um even uh we read the that the doctor martin luther king had a meeting here uh we just passed by and it was still worth it to see it if you have time i would definitely recommend you to go inside because it is a museum but like i mentioned before saint augustine is the oldest city uh it when you read about the historical events so it was conquered by the Spanish so it was on possession of Spain at one point and then the British of course indigenous and anyway so it's just very interesting everything that happened not everything that happened was great but even uh, on the 60s it was it was meaningful and just right now the fact that we are able to visit and bike on this city is very uh interesting it has a lot of uh, original cobblestones so you do feel like in an old town uh you don't really find that in uh florida i know uh i used to live in california so a lot of cities they have like their old town location here that's actually not as common so st augustine has that feel like the old town how, the houses the streets uh if you like those buildings you're gonna like saint augustine for sure 
If you're looking for souvenirs, you're also going to have a, a lot of stores to choose from. We actually park our bike and we just walk and you on this kind of like a main strip in St. Augustine. So you're going to find a lot of local stores with souvenirs. There's also a lot of restaurants to choose from. So uh, that was quite nice after uh, strolling the whole city. We were uh, <clears throat> passing an alley, alley we even seen uh, a local person playing music, so that was very unique. And I also recommend to visit the visitor center. We actually went there because we needed to use the bathroom, so they have clean bathrooms in there. But they also have a small museum with more information. Like I said, in St. Augustine, a lot of historical events happen, so there's a lot of history, a lot of uh, things to learn about the city, and it was kind of uh, quite nice just to stop here at the visitor center, read a little bit of general information of what happened in St. Augustine, and they also had a little store with souvenirs, so recommend to uh, make a quick stop there. If you're a fan of uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, uh, they actually have a museum here in St. Augustine. It, it's located on San Marco Avenue. I'm gonna leave you the address here so you know where it is. We actually just passed by and I wanted to provide that information for you. So uh, St. Augustine is located an hour and 45 minutes from Orlando. If you're visiting Orlando, I highly recommend you to visit St. Augustine only if you have a couple of hours. We did uh, visit St. Augustine on a rush. We only had a few hours. That's why we actually rented the bike, $25 for the whole day. Uh, they have other means of transportation. If you want to rent something, I think it's worth it and it's faster. Uh, in here there's also a local trolley and you can buy tickets and the trolley will, will take you to all the historical locations that I mentioned. So you have a couple of options if biking it's not for you. So the best time to visit St. Augustine is recommended to be on the dry season from May to November. Although in Florida we get uh, beautiful days year-round, it's just when there is a storm or something like this, there's going to be raining the whole day. But other than that, um, I think any day that it's not during storm season, it's perfect to visit St. Augustine. So our original plan was to rent a scooter, but they were already uh, all rented by the time we got to the location. That's why we opted for the bike. And uh, at the end of the day, it was worth it. We had a total of five hours. This is all we did in those five hours. Um, if you have less than five hours, I would definitely recommend you to rent a scooter or do the trolley so it's a little bit faster. Um, if you have more time, there's hotels in here, stays that you can stay here and uh, enjoy a couple of days. Um, I think what I would change is I would stay a little longer, maybe the weekend, just to see uh, all the other locations. I really like historical places and museums, so I do like to go there, but I know it takes time reading everything. So it's just up to you. Um, you choose depending on the time that you have, but more than anything, or at least if you are able to visit St. Augustine for a couple hours, I, I think it is worth it. If you have any questions about San Agustin, please let me know in the comments below. This was the short travel guide for St. Agustin. I hope you like it and if you like to travel, we have a lot of travel guides uh, around the world. So subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Alright, so what's the name of this forest? Manzanilla. Matanza, sale un brinco eh? Matanza, matanza.